Hey, Shucker Patty here. I'm going to talk to you today about my third oyster knife. This is a very passion project of mine. This one here is called the Bartender Blade. It has no plastic. It is perfectly flat. That can't be comfortable when you're using it. It's not as comfortable as the ones with handles on it. No, you're not going to shuck a thousand oysters, but some shuckers have been shucking a thousand oysters to shift with it. It still fits in your hand with that pistol grip beautifulness. You can still torque open oysters absolutely easily with it. It is half the price of my other oyster knives, which is what I wanted to get in there, get it out to the market. But with that, I got to put in a lovely little bartender shucker right there. You're going to shuck bottles with that. Oops, other way. This, no, I had it right the first time. I can't see, so that's the problem with the whole thing. We can try that again, or not. So it looks like a GNT is in my future for, for sure. This oyster knife still has that same ability to shuck all of the oysters easier than it is a bottle of bubblies. Uh, with this beautiful blade right here, it actually wedges into the shells quite easily, and then you torque, turning it with a key in a lock style. Do not pry it torque it it's easier it's lazy shucker that's the whole idea with this thing is because you created the fulcrum between the top and the bottom you can leave her open oyster oysters along this axis here right here with the blade and you can just pop it and drop it like nobody's business bartender's blade every bartender should have one in their pocket because when you're going to get ready to shuck drop it like it's cold <coughs> that was terrible that was actually actually terrible